here with Captain Michael Doliak, man, on the heels of his MVP season, going into the biggest game of your career. Obviously, the storyline going into tonight is you got to get over the hump. You must get to the top of the mountain. You are 0 for 3 in championship appearances, and this is your fourth championship in how many seasons? Uh, uh, I played about like 9, 10. I'm saying three of the last four years you've been the championship. Yes, yeah, been the All right, what changes in your approach tonight? I mean, going into the other finals, you've been a little bit of a different player going into that game. So what's going to change tonight on your end? I know you're going to say, I'm going to have the same mentality I've had all year long, but what's actually going to make a difference? Is there a block? Is there some jitters? Anything going into tonight's matchup? Uh, I think the difference from now into the other seasons is I just I feel like I can't go back in time. I can't say, you should have done this, should have done that. That's, that's not my mentality. It's we do it now, and whatever it is, it's going to be the it's going to be the result of winning. So, and I'm completely different. I'm scoring more, I'm trying to get my team oh, more. Know. You're way more of a complete player than you ever were. 100%. And I think it's a huge thing that Steven Mizrahi changed his flight. Speaking of Steven, Steven, oh, come on down. He talked to me for a minute about you changing your flight, and what family issues that must have caused. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I had to beg my parents, you know, they didn't like it because it was a uh, kind of short trip as is. But uh, they know how important this win is. Listen, we all know how important it is, and I know how important it is to Doliak also. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he needs you to be the garbage man down low. He needs you to clean up, he needs you to be fundamental, and you've been hitting your free throws on a high clip, so you are a big factor tonight. You know, I said if you weren't here, they had no shot. They need you here. Yeah, I knew, I knew coming in, I was letting my team down. You don't know what was going on in the captain's side, so by you being here, it speaks volumes. Uh, Steve, we wish you all the luck in the world tonight. Good luck in the finals. Now we're here live with Albert Nasseri. I know, Al, you're on the short list to be a captain in the near future. I know that's something you definitely want to be having on your resume in the future. But right now, tonight, it's all about the championship. It's all about the finals. Um, you are drawing, I'm not going to say a relatively easy defensive matchup in Sammy Shama, because Sammy Shama, you can't even open in the corner because you know he'll knock down that shot. But it does give you an opportunity to cheat off the ball a little bit. Uh, what's going through your mind tonight? What is your assignment tonight? And how do you see tonight playing out? Obviously, I know you guys are think you're going to win, but how do you see the game unfolding? Pace a game, flow a game, etc. So for us, uh, you know, we've been preparing for this for over a week. Uh, we knew that we could get yes in, I think. But uh, we got a great game plan, great strategy. Sammy Shamala, uh, we got a good play. Not, not an easy guard at all. He's a hustler, he gets rebounds, he flashes, he flashes. Right, that's the one thing about Sammy yeah, yeah, he will never stop running on the court. He's diving after loose balls. He's a defensive dynamo, as we said. And listen, you have it also a pretty tough dash offensively. I mean, you have stopped driving to the lane at the clip you were since your ankle injury, and I've seen it, and the league has seen it. You've become more of an outside spot-up shooter. Uh, do you plan on going all out tonight, cut into the basket like the Nasseri of old, showing me that old Euro step, or are you still going to be that outside spot-up shooter that you've been over the last few weeks? He's going to the rim tonight. You heard it here first. Al Nasseri, lots of luck. Hope to see you on the other side. We're here live with Bobby Sofer. Bobby, you are drawing the toughest, toughest defensive assignment you've had all season long. You will be guarding the MVP and the guy who's been scoring at will in Michael Men. What's your mentality? How do you plan on even slowing him down? And you know, are you doing anything different tonight? Or are you just gonna go about your business and try to be that pest on defense? It's, it's a team effort to stop Mike. He's been tearing it up this season. Um, I'm going to stick with him the whole night, follow him around, force him into tough shots that he doesn't want to take. And we have Sam, who's a huge factor in the paint, which Mike didn't have a big guy last week. He was, right. he was attacking the paint that will. Was, Yoni's is not as big as Sam. We have Sam in the middle, we'll make it tough for him, make him take some mid-range jump shots, make him take him some tough layups. If we close out the three. And listen, you also have Steven Mizrahi here tonight, which is a tremendous uh, storyline going in. We have the latest flight. 
So I think he's going to be also proof dividends down low, yeah. uh, helping stop defensively. But either way, good luck tonight, Bob. Thank you. They're going to need some offense out of you also. So get that three yeah. point already. Hopefully, it's a it's a two way defense defense offense. Let's say good luck tonight. Now we're here with Rage Jaddy Ray. Uh, you had a long road to get here to the championship. Plain and simple. One thing to win the game. That's it. Win the game. Money quote from Ray Jaddy. Here with Ralph Mendeal. Uh Ralph, you did have perspective because you refereed the latter part of the season. So you did get a chance to watch a bunch of these guys play. Um, Michael Mann obviously has been on a different level uh, this season. And Shmuel Bitoan is you know, all reliable. Uh, from your perspective, the referee perspective, how do you see tonight playing out? Um, I think Sam's team has the advantage in terms of size. I know Mizra is big, but uh, he is at a disadvantage having to try to guard Beton by himself. Mike has been playing at an otherworldly level. It's true. But I, I do believe that all the talk has gotten into his head. I mean, he went 13 for 16 last week. And then last week he was, he didn't miss a shot in the second half. Exactly. And that takes its toll on someone mentally. Where can you live up and perform knowing that that's what your team needs out of you I will to win? I will tell you something. The emergence of Jonah Gorgian on Team Beton has been the difference maker for Beton. Ray Batesh as a rookie has been playing lights out, but Gorgian's really been that guy, uh, knocking down the outside three whenever, giving him an inch of daylight. The guy buries literally anything from five feet behind the arc even. Sure. And uh, he does use his body when needed, cuts to the basket. So I, I feel personally, if he has a big game, they're gonna be right in it at the end. One thing I disagree with you on, you're not stopping Michael Mann right now. He's in a zone where I'm sorry, he cuts to the basket at will. When they have a double team in years past, he puts it up. Now he's kicking it out for the open shot, and his guys are knocking it down. Uh, it's, it, 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 it'll be a fun game to watch and referee. I can't say one thing, though. Watching Beton's team, I was uh, pleasantly surprised by the emergence of this kid, Vichani. Yeah, Joe Michel e Excellent shooter. I think in, in championship games, there's always that one guy who's an X Factor who comes in and hits his three, four, five shots and their momentum swingers. Well, Joey Mashani did not get much burn last week in the, in the semis. He maybe played a handful of minutes and he wasn't part of the game plan. So let's see uh, if he I is. Think, I, I, I think if he gets a little bit of time, he'll capitalize and maximize the time. He is a rookie, so let's see what kind of burn they give him again. Uh, so what's your final prediction on tonight's game? Sam by four. Sam by four. You heard there from Ralph Mendeel.